shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. September 7th. That's this Monday. Now I wish I'd paid him off. And who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. I don't know, Doc. I thought maybe she was a girlfriend of yours. Hardy, my involvement in such a social relationship here in 1885 could result in a disruption of the space-time continuum. As a scientist, I can never take that risk. Certainly not after what we've already been through. Hammond! Oh, Emmett! Hubert! It's the mayor! Excuse me, Emmett. Do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when she came in? Oh, yes, quite so. Well, we just got word she's coming in tomorrow. Here are the details for you. Thanks for all your help. Anytime, Hubert. Oh, her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. Well, Doc. Now we know who Claire is. Marty, it's impossible. The idea that I could fall in love at first sight is romantic nonsense. <laughs> There's no scientific rationale for ah, that. Ah, come on, Doc. It's not science. You meet the right girl, it just hits you. It's like lightning. Marty, please don't say that. That's the way it was me and Jennifer. See, we couldn't give our eyes off each other. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. Don't worry, Marty. You'll be fine. When you burn the Almanac in 1955, the normal timeline was restored. That means once we're back in 1985, you just have to go over the house and wake her up. Oh, Marty, turn that valve over there. All the way to the right. Yeah, put it all the way around. Okay, let's go. Oh, thanks. It's a refrigerator. Well, I guess Miss Clayton will have to find other transportation. I never meet the woman. There's no possibility of a romantic infatuation, right? You're the doc, doc. All right. Get to the DeLorean and get ourselves back to the future. Oh, listen, doc, it tore a hole in the gas tank when I was landing, so we're going to have to patch it up and get some gas. You mean we're out of gas? Yeah, it's no big deal. We got Mr. Fusion, right? Mr. Fusion powers the time circuits and the flux capacitor. But the internal combustion engine runs on ordinary gasoline. It always has. There's not going to be a gas station around here until sometime in the next century. Without gasoline, we can't get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour. So what do we do? <laughs> Bartender says that's the strongest stuff they got. Try it, Marty. Injection manifold. Strong stuff, all right. It'll take me a month to rebuild it. A month? Doc, you're gonna get shot on Monday! No, I know, I know! I wish. Wait. I got it! We can simply roll it down a steep hill. No, we never find a smooth enough surface. Unless, of course, ice. We'll wait until winter, when the lake freezes over. Winter? Doc, what are you talking about? Monday, it's three days away. All right, all right, all right. Just let's think this thing through logically. We know it won't run under its own power. We know we can't pull it. But if we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour, huh?
That's it. How fast can she go? Well, I've had her up to 55 myself. I hear that uh, fearless Frank Fargo got one of these up to near 70 out past 30 junction. Well, you think it's possible to get it up to 90? Past 90? Carnation, son, who'd ever need to be in such a hurry? Oh, well, it's just a little bit, he and I have, that's all. Theoretically speaking, could it be done? Well, I suppose if you had a straight stretch of track with a level grade and you weren't hauling no cars behind you, and if you could get the fire hot enough, and I'm talking about hotter than the blazes of hell and damnation itself, then yes, it might be possible to get her up that fast. Tell me when's the next train come through here? Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Here! This spur that runs off the main line three miles out to Clayton Ravine is a long stretch of level track that will still exist in 1985. This is where we'll push the DeLorean with the locomotive. Funny. This map calls Clayton Ravine show naturally. That must be the old Indian name for it. It's perfect. Nice long run that goes clear across the bridge over the ravine. You know, over near that Hilldale housing development. Right, Doc. But according to this map, there is no bridge. Well, Doc, we can scratch that idea. I mean, we can't wait around a year and a half for this thing to get finished. Marty, it's perfect. You're just not thinking fourth dimensionally. Right, right. I have a real problem with that. Don't you see? The bridge will exist in 1985. It's safe and still in use. Therefore, as long as we get the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine, we'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time where the bridge is completed. We'll have track under us and go safely across the ravine. What about the locomotive? It'll be a spectacular wreck. Too bad no one will be around to see it. <laughs> 